This is how to make the perfect Thanksgiving turkey with the crispiest skin and juiciest meat you'll ever have. And it's done in less than two hours. Start by spatchcocking the turkey by removing the backbone. This step takes some work, but it's extremely worth it. The turkey will cook faster, more consistent crispiness, and the white and dark meat will cook to optimal temps. And save that backbone for gravy. Flip it over and unfold the thighs like so. With the dark meat exposed, it'll cook faster than the more lean breasts, and the entire skin is facing up for more even browning. Next, press down firmly on the breast to flatten it out. It should sound like you're at the chiropractor. Next up, we'll need to separate the skin from the meat so we can add our compound butter. This step is a lot easier to do prior to dry brining when the skin is less tight. Work your way around the turkey. No need to completely separate all of it, just make some pockets. Time to dry brine. The combination of baking powder and kosher salt is going to maximize crispiness. And season all sides as you normally would a piece of meat that size. Dry browning will not only season the meat deeply, but also dries out the bird, allowing for significantly more crispy skin. Finish with black pepper and into the fridge overnight, uncovered. While that's dry brining, let's make the compound butter. I used about a stick and a half, adding some chopped rosemary, thyme, and sage. Sage is a critical component when it comes to Thanksgiving flavor that goes great with turkey. Finish it off with some finely chopped garlic, and I just added a bit of barbecue rub as well. Mix it up, and at this point, if you have a pet, they're likely already as excited as Tibby is. The next day, notice how dry the skin of our turkey is, which is perfect. Carefully add your compound butter beneath the skin and try to avoid getting any on the skin itself as it can burn. Thin layer of olive oil and get it into a 450 degree oven until the breast meat reaches 150 Fahrenheit internal. Keep an eye on it as it cooks and add some foil to the top if you feel necessary. But you should be left with a beautiful golden brown bird. Now you might be wondering if 150 Fahrenheit internal is safe and as long as it rests for 15 minutes, it'll 100% be fully pasteurized and it'll be way more juicy. At the same time, the dark meat reaches 175F, which is ideal when it comes to juiciness and tenderness. I mean, just check out that turkey. Remove the breasts and slice as so, which guarantees that each piece will have an even distribution of that beautiful skin. And this right here to me is the perfect Thanksgiving turkey. And I highly suggest using some of those leftover butter drippings to pour over the white meat for a little extra punch of juiciness and flavor. Let me know if you end up cooking your turkey this way, and happy Thanksgiving to you all. Mm.